Hello people, my name is Rage and welcome and all to some more Binding of Isaac Rebirth and it is time to do a challenge I have been most looking forward to. One I defeated Mega Satan himself to unlock! Although I guess technically speaking I didn't need to defeat Mega Satan but the just the angels but it sounds a lot more epic if I said I had to defeat Mega Satan so that's what I'm going with. So I defeated Mega Satan to unlock it and it is a glass of cannon. Let's rock. Let's rock. So we start with one health, the Book of Belial, and Epic Fetus, which is my favorite method of attacking in the game. I've yet to actually get this item in an actual run, but I am looking forward to the day that it happens. I really, really am. It's obviously a lot slower than normal Fetus, but the damage it does, well, there you go, is absolutely insane. Also a free secret room, totally deliberately of course, I've just got like, oh, a new item I unlocked recently, very recently, the blood penny, so that's awesome. I'm going to assume that it's a trinket that means when I get money, it also has a good chance of dropping hearts, which makes a lot of, oh, God, the blast damage, that blast damage is insane, yeah, but what I actually meant there, if I can speak correct words, is the blast range is absolutely insane on this thing. It really, I feel like it's a lot more than a bomb. I think that is accurate to say, wow. Okay. Uh, uh, spider, spider attack, spider men. Uh, okay, we did it, team. Team, we did it. Okay, okay, operation. Oh my god, more spiders. <laughs> operation, oh my god, more spiders. That's the best operation. Just, just absolutely a great operation. Actually, maybe here? Because I kind of want to find the super secret. Though potentially there's not a super secret on the first floor. If, if I, or am I just making that? Ooh, ooh, I see. And there is as well. So potentially I'm just making everything up. Boom, 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 how do you like it, how do you like it? Spiders, whoa, wonderful, I'm sure glad I didn't waste a bomb on that. And we have another chest, I kind of don't want to use Dr. Fetus in here, because I'm worried it will back, actually I'm going to go for it, okay, so it just comes down like that, that makes sense, I really didn't want it to just randomly shower we, shower we? I didn't want to get showered by we, get that, I, what am I, what are my words? Right now, what are my words? Oh, that <laughs> groovy! Yes, groovier than Austin Powers, I would have to say right there. In fact, so talking of the Wii and Austin Powers, the scene where he gets Steve frozen from cryogenics and spends the next five minutes emptying his bladder is. I love it. And what's a real shame about the Austin Powers films, and if you've not seen the Austin Powers films, you really should, because they are genuinely hilarious. They're very cheesy. That Wow, that blood penny is insane! Wow! Okay, that's really neat. But yeah, they actually got really bad critical reviews of the Austin Powers, and I can see why, but they are just such good, mindless fun. There's one of my favourite- LEG DAY SPIDER! LEG DAY SP- Okay, alright, that could have gone horrible. But we defeated the leg day spider. Boom! I found peels, guys. I found peels. But yes, Austin Powers, the shiz. Uh, do I want to go on a four? Do I want to go on a four? What's the four? I'm going to go on the four. Okay. I don't know what that did. Maybe it's the one that rerolls trinkets and stuff? Let's not accidentally hit myself with that. I guess this run is called Glass Cannon, of course, because you are very much fragile because one shot from your own epic fetus will bring you down very rapidly. I feel like if we can get some HP up, this trinket is going to be very, very profitable for us, but we gotta rely on that HP up, which doesn't happen very often, I don't think. I think potentially this run is set so that you don't get HP up that much because it would make it really easy and kind of defeat the point of being a glass cannon. We'll go down here, see what we acquire. The Book of Sin, which I actually kind of prefer to Belial, simply because we're doing so much damage that I would rather generate things like black hearts than I would a damage up because Epic Fetus already does crazy damage, yes. Did the room reset? 
Oh, I guess there was like one spider I hadn't killed. Not the end of the world. It was a very, very easy room. And uh, die. There we go. So we have our shop, which we are going to go into. We have the money to do so. Definitely going to buy the soul heart and the rest of it I don't need. But I will bomb his... Look, he was sat there with his, like, mouth open to the sky. Just, I'm ready. I'm ready. Drop the missile right down here. Come on. Come on. There we go. I think, I think he's just depressed being a shopkeeper. I think he just really, really wants his life ended. I realize he's already technically dead. But also, shut up. I'm going to be really depressed when... Okay, Bob's rotten head. That could have been a lot more of a... Oh, item. The blighted ovum. That was... Oh my god, this is actually a terrible boss fight. Um, How am I... Sudden devil room. I don't really know what happened there. I'm going to accept it, however. And... Uh grab this we are going to roll with three black hearts guys and the damage and range up the damage is okay range not really something we need we'll go in this room which we kind of just skipped the explosions are real the explosions are still real they're not fake explosions i can confirm guys you are not safe from them i wonder how pyromaniac interacts with epic fetus then would it mean your shots heal you? Because if so, that's really good. I found peels. I found peels. Range up. Yay. Range up. We've already infinite range bombs. Life is good, guys. Life is good. And yeah, we are fine to move on to the next floor. Though I can't go in the next shot, but I'm assuming I will. Maybe I should have gone to that room and got another charge on the Book of Sin. But I don't think it's that necessary. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Oh, a black heart. That's what I like to see from you, Buckerson. That is what I like to see. And boom! There goes that guy, and he is going to follow straight away. I just, I love constantly being able to explode things. What have you got for us? Money, money, money! Kind of teasing me there with all this health. I uh, really would like some health ups. Just, just at, you know, some point. God, the damage is so glorious! I, I, you know, I love dropping missiles on things. There's no two ways about it. Just missiles are glorious. They're fun, and I think everyone should invest in their own missile launcher. I really thought this challenge may be harder than it's been so far, just because how likely you are to kill yourself in a room full of very quick enemies. The Blighted Ovum was quite a good example of that, but... Really, it's just not been that bad. I don't know if that's because I've got lucky or anything, but I'm liking it. The world! The husk! Hey, husky boy! Oh, what's that? You got annihilated? That's weird. How did that happen? Wom. And we get another devil room, as well as speed and range up, which is actually not terrible. Guppy's hairball for free, soul hearts! Ha ha! Ha ha! Devil! Devil, my friend! You can... You can go screw yourself! <laughs> no, seriously, you can you can actually burn in eternal damnation, which probably sounds like a nice holiday for you, but you know what I mean. Die! Oh, it doesn't kill the mini dingles as well. God, what is the point of explosions if it can't even kill mini dingles? Because I just don't know. It killed the fly as well, so I wonder how it actually mechanically works. Can I not kill... Can I really not kill poop with epic fetus? Can I kill it with bombs? Maybe? Okay, well, I guess Golden Poop is forever going to evade us, which is a real shame. And secret room! No secret room. And... Oh, leg day spiders! Leg day spiders! Stop being leg day horrific! Okay, alright, these ones, I think these ones skipped leg day. I don't think they listened to their kin. I don't think they understood the power of leg day. So, fortunately, we got away with that. Ooh, even more money! Lots of money! Which is convenient, because we are going to give the lots of money to him, and hopefully end up with a world card. I... not world card, I just kind of read what I got there. Hopefully we're going to end up with a health up. That's the real plan. Mother is watching you. Not a terrible card if you can actually make it land on an enemy. But certainly not as good as just the room insta-clear that is unleashing death upon thy foes. A heart that's useless. Can you give me your item, please, beggar? 
There it is. Finally some HP up. That is what we needed to see. I'm going to use death. Mainly because I'm going to go pick up the world anyway. So I may as well. Ooh, a blank card. Wish I'd kind of not used death now. I, I love the blank card. I think the blank card is awesome. I'm going to use this pill. Tears up. That is fine. Let's just uh, put this shopkeeper's corpse out of the misery he finds himself in. I am moving very quickly, which is potentially a very good or very bad thing when it comes to Epic Fetus. Oh, come on, game. Come on now. Cut that is. Don't you think that's a little mean game? I think that's a little mean. Did I just not pick up my tarot cards? There we go. So I could keep the world. I think keeping the world is better just so I instantly can know the layout of every floor I go on. But I'm hoping I will find a better tarot card as we progress. I'm loving the blank card. It's one of my favorite items, actually. I didn't think I'd like it. As I said before, I really didn't think I'd like it. But it's grown on me fast like a growth that needs treating. Very worrying, in fact. Oh, boom! And boom! I actually think I suit attacking with the doctor because I love the Ludivolo, Ludicolo, Ludimarolo technique as an item. I think I'm kind of good with it. Epic V just kind of works in the same way that you gotta move where your missiles are going while dodging your characters. I kind of work well in that double keeping an eye on things. Divine Heart, we will definitely take that. I think I'm pretty safe too, because if I somehow lose four and a half hearts on this floor, then really, I deserve to lose the run in before that happens. Oh, whoops. Totally thought they were the ones that just charge at you, not the ones that shoot. That was my bad entirely, and of course it happened after me. Oh, oh! Nearly bombed myself with Epic Fetus there. That was, hmm. Okay, we're not going to worry about that. No, we are not. Okay, well, that just seems unfair to have to deal with. Oh, what is wrong with me? It's like my brain just went, ha, 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 you said it's not like you're not going to take that damage. Well, really, we can't help but embarrass you, Raid. So what we're going to do is make sure you definitely, definitely take that damage. Ha, ha. Ha, ha. Okay, you, you have two. But I'm going to save the 15 for the shop on this floor. If there's nothing good, I will be back to you, Mr. Beggar Friend. Yes, I will. Now, the secret room, not in here. Did I check for super secret? I cannot remember. I did not. Go! And go! And go! Okay, definitely not to be found in there. Down we pop. Ooh, oh nice, he popped up at really a bad time for him. You know, he tried to make a nice dinner arrangement, and it was just it was just poorly timed. And this makes me happy, because we can get in to uh, this place. Uh, I'm not fighting a boss rush for a normal chest. I think there's a limit, honestly. Oh, that's a shame, I was focusing... Hang on a minute, Epic Fetus can't fire frequently enough to finish the... Oh no, it can. It can. Okay, only just, but it can. How would I get round that? I guess I'd have to time bombs, but if I didn't have any, that seems potentially... Did that, did that dingle just commit suicide rather than face me? Because I feel like it did, which is hilarious. I mean, I would commit suicide rather than face me because I am the destroyer of worlds. Despite all the stupid mistakes I make in this game, I, you know, I think I, I hit myself with Epic Fetus there. So, you know, in my defense, I am so, I'm going to be so embarrassed if I actually do some, see, those were the ones that I thought it was, the sort of run at you, turn into that when they die. But I am going to be very embarrassed if I lose that Divine Heart after all this. I kind of want to buy that, just because- I didn't use the world! What's wrong with me? That's why I took this card! I forgot I even have it! Oh, confoundedness! Fail upon fail in the Holy Grail of the Pale Season of the Things! That's my- that's my exclamation for this. That's, uh, that's where I'm going, and I'm committed to it. There's no point in me using it now, because really, I think we are... Oh, I thought it was dead. I thought it was dead, you know. I guess the lesson is, don't assume something's dead until you're swimming in its blood. And, you know, I can... 
Well, that's convenient, isn't it? See, guys, I told you I wouldn't lose that divine heart, and you all didn't trust me. Oh, sometimes I just think the love isn't there. Okay, but the boss fight, goody! Boom! Goody! Boom! Goody! Boom! Goody! Boom! Goody boom! Goody boom is the way to go. Please, I kind of just want HP up. Yep, that will do nicely. I do want to acquire more money, just so I can see what the shop item is. Because I may as well purchase it. I like it when something's a mystery. Potentially money there. No, nope, nothing going on. I am moving very quickly, which I think is potentially a very big problem. I'm going to go to the arcade, as that seems the likely place to acquire more money. Die, blood bank! Die, blood bank! Die, random beggars! Nice. That's very convenient. So as we're spending our money anyway, die, final beggar! I feel like I really just went and slaughtered all of those very innocent creatures there. They just, were, they were just were, you know, they're homeless, they're innocent, they're just wanting a friend and a donation, and I dropped missiles on them. Does that make me bad? Mum's coin purse. Balls of steel. Balls of steel. Hematosis tears up. I think that was a very, very valid investment. I'm, I'm happy. I am happy. This, this challenge started out great, got greater, then I started throwing hard, but now I'm back on it, guys. Rage is back in the building. I know what you're all thinking. Ah. But the building was really fun. I got hit by the by the turret thing. See, I'm always like, it's okay. Dr. Fetus will definitely kill them in time. And then it doesn't. And then I'm really upset. But I have health to spare now. Ooh, mushrooms. Magic mushroom. Why doesn't this ever happen on a non-challenge run? I mean, it does. But you know what I'm saying. I will take that. And I'm going to grow a little bit as well. In fact, I'm going to use the world finally. Ugh. Do I want Liberty Cap over the blood? Kind of do, potentially speaking. Bound peels. He is up. This is Balls of Steel. Bad trip. And Balls of Steel. Back to that. Liberty, I think I kind of want the Blood Penny. Just in case I find something like Dark Bum. It's got very nice synergy going on with it. Totally didn't notice that guy. Was too busy focusing on my epic fetus. What tarot card is worth this? The Empress. I'd rather have a reusable world card. I think maybe not the best decision. And I realize you can use epic fetus to skip room after room really easily. But there's no point not killing anything. Everything is there. Necro one. So we're free to have a pop at the boss here. Wow. Wow. That is just wow. Hey, Crampy. <laughs> I don't need Krampus' head. Definitely don't need Krampus' head. I have the damage. I prefer the utility of the blank car. <laughs> he, like, looked at me as if to be like, Get ready! I'm about to own you with my bombs! And then he just went splat. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. It is unfortunate I kind of had to trigger the rainbow poop to kill them. I mean, maybe I wouldn't. Oh my god, innocence to slaughter with epic fetus. Liking it. I am going to take this bit of damage to going here, because I had a feeling. Feeling was kind of bad. I mean, I gained a money and a key, but really not worth the soul heart I paid. But you never know with these things. You do never know. And what does the shop hold? Yeah, I'm going to take the battery. I think I am definitely going to take the battery, because now I can overcharge my item. I don't know why I said it like that, but I am. And I'm just going to move on. I mean, what can I really find? I've got one of the secret rooms. I'm not bothered about the super secret. I'm doing loads of damage. I've got great utility from the world and the blank card. I've got max health as a damage sponge. I just, I don't see this run going wrong. Though now that I've said that, of course, the run is going to go horrifically, horrifically uh, wrong. God, this is annoying that they require two hits each. There we go. And Dingle Slaughter! Oh, I love me a bit of Dingle Slaughter. I really do. Let's use the world to find out what is going on. And drop the bomb! Drop the bomb! Stop dodging my bomb drop. Thank you. 
And give me them sweet, sweet black hat. Wow, we found three of these in one run. Is that above it? Oh, <laughs> oh, that would normally be excellent. But that's just does nothing, does it? I mean, I'm going to pick it up just so my missiles are piercing. Because, you know, the classic piercing missile technique. Uh, anything there? Nope. Ultra Pride! Oh. Okay, then. Uh, I think at this stage I will take lots of dark chess over the health. Just because potentially Guppy, I think Guppy would really just suit this because of the flies. I think that would be nice and sweet. And the secret room, some money, and eat my missile, nom! That sounds weird actually to tell someone to eat your missile. I wouldn't recommend that. My movement speed there, proving a great asset. I'm going to go straight to the boss. Wow, they just murdered their spider kin as we have the door guarded by the two skulls. That can only mean doom. It really can. The magician, I don't think I somehow need homing dot epic fetus. I think that would just be majorly overkill. I'm really failing at hitting this guy. There we go. Grab ourselves a key. We are going to head to the shop. We have nearly got the money. This is going to be... Kinda difficult, actually. Maybe piercing shot should change Epic Theatres to kill every layer of an enemy, because that would be an actual neat little interaction that's tangibly useful. Not that you need more power if you get Epic Theatres. I think we can agree that Epic Theatres, of all things, is just a run winner. And that's not even worth me using a key on. Boom! Uh, no, no, it's not worth it. So that's a shame. Well, it, it's a shame in the sense of, oh, we didn't get a new item, but that's all it's a shame in, because we're definitely powerful enough. And boom! Yay, troll bombs. Skulls! Black heart, lovely. And now we just have Mother to kill, and two more chances at Soul Hearts to cap ourselves off. And I just love being capped off. I mean, if you ever had to ask yourself your opinion on being capped off or not, you would probably say you enjoy being capped off. Oh, that's satisfying. To kill a ghost and two Marowaks? There's no real doubt about it. That was great. I'm going to kill the skulls for tarot cards, actually, just in case. Nothing brilliant there. So, mother! Wow, half health. I couldn't actually move there. Oh, no, I'm over at the top. I lost where my character was there for a second. That's a little bit worrying. Let's take the Polaroid. Because I like the Polaroid. I think when I don't need the lamb, I think the Polaroid is just better. Because I enjoy getting four guaranteed items. I also enjoy facing Blue Baby more than the lamb. Because I like a good Isaac fight. A bit of Isaac on Isaac action, you know? And... Oh, you're, you're a me. Can I physically kill you? I don't think I can. How about now? Yay! Whoa, that was close. That was very close. Oh, no. Not today, sirs. Not today. Are we actually going to get through this room without taking damage to these things? We are. Oh, I just realized. Oh. Wait, yeah. The curse really means that this blank card setup is pointless. I just love it when things are pointless. Wow, you chose... How did he not die? I swear he came... I'm there as well! I think you're hacking, Mr. Worm Man. Did you know that? Because I think you are. And one. There we go. This overcharge was potentially going to be lovely if we found a better tarot card, but we're just not. We really are just not. And that goes down. Boom. I'm getting quite good with my dodges now. I haven't taken damage in a while, which is probably a very good thing. Although, it doesn't really matter if I do take damage. It's hard to lose a run like this. And we have killed our way to the boss. Mr. Fred! Boom. Oh no, Mr. Fred. Oh no. How will you ever defeat me? Your life is so hard. Boom. And Cattle Nine Tails. That's fine. I mean, does anything even really affect Epic Fetus? Does damage ups actually do anything? I'm not entirely sure, but what I do know, the world! Okay, well, we're gonna go down here straight away and get hit by a mini dingle! No, the embarrassment! The humanity, the humanity, the manatee, the aquatic mammal! 
Do one. No, that's a Pokemon, actually. Do one's a Pokemon. Well, that's a really nice room. That was so pointless. I guess we'll go in the secret room on the way. There's no point in going anywhere else. I love how I cared more about the secret room than I did about killing the enemies in here. That shows you how beyond them I am. And we'll grab all of that. We don't really need money for anything. I guess if we find money is power. It's kind of worth stacking up the money, but that's about it. It's not like the... Ooh, okay. I'm going to actually blow everything up just because I can. I feel like it makes sense. Guppy's tail. Actually, probably shouldn't have got a blind curse item because that could have been nine lives. Which, though, to be fair, you told me that doesn't affect soul and black hearts, so that wouldn't have been disastrous at all. That was easy. I love the explosion radius. I think that more than the stupid damage is what makes it ridiculous. And it lives. Do you really live, or are you lying about your living status? Because in either way, I'm not sure you can be definitely confirmed to be alive, and you're going to die now. Well, that was, that was difficult. Oh, we have to kill Satan for this one. Well then, we shall do just that. I sure hope we don't have to kill the lamb, because I may have taken the Polaroid. But still, this has definitely not been as hard a challenge as I expected it to be. And... Vom! Vom! And Vom! Say it with me now. If, oh, what's alive? Oh, a singular fly. Keeping everything going. I respect you, fly. I respect you. You know what? Balls of steel! Guppy's collar! That's how I roll. Oh, good. More battery life for this world card. I think it was a good idea in theory, but I guess in practice, it's not. There it is! Guppy! I think I will take it over the blank card, because this double charge means that we're going to be doing a lot of good. I don't know why I dodged those spikes there. I guess I wasn't, you know... You're happy with being guppy or something. I guess maybe being a giant cat isn't that good for me. I don't even know what I'm talking about. All I know is that my charge of the flies is unreal. And we got the Bible. Oh, guys, let's use the Bible against uh, Satan. It's a, really, it's a really good idea, right? I think so. I think it's a really excellent idea for us to do. kind of want to explore now just because I'm so stupidly powerful. Wow, that's convenient. That really is convenient. I can see forever. Tears up. Actually, that's the super secret. So that's all the exploration I wanted to do. Sorted. Ah, <laughs> the whoosh worm. If only I had something that would have made it good. So I may be able to get enough flies to insta-gib the fallen. Which would be really nice. I do like a little bit of insta-gibbing. Let's get more, and you are going to get- No! Don't waste the flies! The flies must never be wasted. And one. Get more of them. Anything in there? Oh, a new tarot card. Potentially the stars. Nope, not useful. Amnesia! Yay! Good job I know exactly where the boss is. Anything? What am I facing? Ah, okay. The chained up guys. Oh god, they got away. They got away! Uh, tactical damage, guys, because I wanted to kill them with my black... Oh, God, it didn't actually affect them. That's a little bit upsetting there. That's kind of scary, though. That's the first time that's ever happened to me that they've got out. It turns the room dark, and they go invisible. That's scary. I like it, though. And uh, let's get Satan. Oh, Satan, can you feel the power of Satan? Can you feel it? In your bones. I think you can feel it, Satan. Because you're already dead. You are really not that good. Just really just very easy, actually. What's kind of inconvenient is that his hooves aren't down long enough for me to bomb. So I kind of get to get a little bit lucky. But easy! And challenge complete. The glass card and the rules cards appeared in the basement. Well, that sounds interesting. But there we have it, guys. Glass cannon. Pretty swimmingly. I tried to throw it in the middle, but I came back strong. Oh, yes. Remember to like if you enjoyed this. It really does help, guys. Do appreciate it. You know the drill. It's pneumatic. And subscribe for more. And goodbye.